Adam Vox here, and YouTube Gaming has just launched, which is YouTube's new revamped live stream platform for game streaming. And a lot of you all have asked me how to set up OBS with YouTube Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there's a couple things you have to do first. In your YouTube backend, in your creator studio, either on dashboard or video manager, go down to live streaming, and if it's your first time live streaming on YouTube, you're going to see this window. It's going to ask you to just basically make sure that you're okay to stream. Go ahead and click get, get Started, and then it may have you accept something. I've already done that here. Basically, it's just going to have you agree to the terms and conditions of live streaming. Not a big deal. And then you're taken to this platform to set up your live stream just ready to go. It's a lot easier than their older version of their live streaming software, and it works pretty well. Now, immediately... It looks pretty overwhelming, but it's actually very easy to set up, and it even gives you a checklist of what you need to do. First and foremost, set up your software. So we're going to go down here to Encoder Setup, and we're going to pull up our OBS installation. Now in OBS, you want to make sure that OBS is up to date, so go to Help and check for updates. If there's updates, go ahead and install them and allow it to restart OBS. If there's no updates, then you're good to go and you're on the latest version. At the time of recording, that's 0.655B. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up a new profile here. So I'm going to hit Profiles and New, and we're going to call it YouTube Gaming. And click OK. I'm going to go into our Settings menu, and if you want to know how to set up all the other options for OBS, go ahead and check out the other videos. I've made lots of OBS videos. Links will be in the description below. There will be a whole playlist and on my channel, etc. And frankly, if you search OBS Tutorial, you'll probably find me. But we're going to go to Broadcast Settings, and that's what we're going to worry about here. Now under Streaming Setup, we're going to go down here to YouTube. Now on YouTube, we're going to go ahead and choose Primary Ingest Server, and then under Play Path Stream Key, we're going to need this key right here. So what you're going to want to do is click Reveal, and you're never going to want to show this to anybody. So this is why I'm doing this on a dummy channel, even though you can reset it. Basically, if anybody sees this key, you need to hit reset and regenerate a new one. So never show it on stream, never show it in a video, etc. Because this key gives someone access to stream to your YouTube channel. You don't want them to be able to do that. So go ahead and copy that key. And then once you've copied it, hit hide. And paste it in this box right here. And then if you've shown it to someone, click that reset button. Auto reconnect is fine. All of these settings are pretty much going to be fine. Now, if you want to save a local copy of your stream, just to upload later or something, you can do that here. With YouTube, it automatically uploads, so there's no reason to do so. However, if you were streaming to something like Twitch, you would want to do that. One other thing to look out for here is that if you are, you just in case you're following this with another streaming software, if you don't have YouTube set up here, you can go to Custom and then use this URL that it provides. That's what this R RTMP URL is. And then you still use your same key. But since YouTube's an option here in Hitbox or in OBS, we're going to use that key. Now, if you do want to save your local recording, just in case you want to, then you're going to want to tell it where to save to. And we're going to save it to my OBS folder. And we're going to call it YouTube. By default, it chooses an FLV file. But by choosing the drop down menu, you tell it to be an MP4 file. And then click Save. And then when you're done recording, your recorded file will be there and then click apply, and you're good to go, assuming you have everything else set up. I'm gonna set that up real quick, and we're gonna do a test little stream here. One other thing that you're gonna wanna look out for specifically for YouTube is your keyframe interval needs to be four. For Twitch, it's supposed to be two. For YouTube, you want it to be four, so just keep that in mind. Now that we have OBS set up, we're gonna go ahead and hit start streaming, and we're gonna do a test little stream, and it's showing my main window here, which we don't really wanna see, but that's okay. It's showing that it's sending the bitrate and at solid 30 frames a second. And then hopefully if we did things right in a second, this stream preview will show our stream. Next we move along the checklist here and we add our stream info. So we set up, what do we want to call it? Test stream for OBS. Call it gaming, add a description, description here. You can see up here at the top it's already said that it's receiving my content so it already knows that I'm streaming to it. And then you can add a game title for the YouTube gaming stuff. We'll call it, I don't know, uh, Destiny. There we go. Right there. Destiny. And it's automatically saving my stuff. And there you can see the live stream. And we're already live, even though, you know, we have nobody watching. There are extra things you can do as well. You can change your thumbnail. 
You can create a highlight of your stream as you're streaming. If you change your thumbnail, you can just upload a YouTube thumbnail for, that you would just like you would for a normal video. So you can go ahead and upload that one and it will set it as the thumbnail to show in your YouTube sub box. Up here at the top, it shows what's happening on your stream, whether or not you're live and what your stream health is, which is basically how optimized your settings are, how long you've been streaming and how many people are watching you. And then down here, you also have a chat along with some emoticons and things like that. So we'll put one of those in there. Why not? Hit enter and boom, we're chatting. And then you can set up some other stream options such as, although these need to be done before you go live, but you can enable DVR basically that people can go back in time on your stream. That's a very strong advantage of YouTube streaming. Optimize for low latency, that's gonna be default, that's what you want. Added delay, basically if you wanna delay your stream for whatever reason, mostly in professional situations, you can do that. Monetization, whether or not you monetize your stream. And then you can add cards to your stream, just like you can in videos, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. You just add that key into OBS, and that's all you really need to do to be streaming. And then if we go over here, Epos Vox plays live, we can view it on the normal streaming page, and it's playing right there. Look at that. And then once you are live, when you go to your YouTube gaming channel, it'll show it here on the front page, and you can click it to go to the bigger player. And here you are. It's showing this screen over here with my audition recording and stuff. But you can see it. It's showing that you're streaming and you have the normal chat bar and everything else. And then you can follow and like and all that jazz. And it works. And that's it. That's all you need to do to stream to YouTube gaming. You just need to be a partnered YouTube channel and set it up in OBS. I do hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, be sure to leave a like in the on the like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I've been out of the game for a week, recovering from surgery. I don't remember what I'll need to say. Go check out our vlog channel where we do lots of vlogs and behind the scene footage and things like that. Check out everything else in the description below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to comment if you have other tutorial requests. See you next time. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next Epic Tech video.